How long have we wanted to do this, man? <laughs> this has been a long time coming, this one, hasn't it? It has, 100%. So ever since we did our um, Urban Pro launch and we had Rick English come, I've just been thinking about wheeling my <laughs> Jigsaw 750. It's, well, it's been going on even longer than that for me. It must be the last, I don't know how many years, maybe 10, actually. Maybe 10 I, years. I, I've, been, I've been wanting to do this. So. It's, it's got to be the holy grail, hasn't it, of motorcycling, <laughs> is popping that wheelie. It, it's definitely perceived as being the coolest thing you can do on, on two wheels, right? 100%. So, uh, I mean, for me personally, after that uh, shoot we did with Rick, you know, of course, like everybody, I've been, you know, YouTubing it, how do you pull a wheelie, all that kind of stuff. And the spot I've got to, I can do a tiny pop of one. But, but actually, do you know what? My bike, I don't know about you, but my bike is my pride and joy. and. You know, it's a bloody dangerous thing, going to yeah. learn how to do yeah, this. Yeah. So, you know, where I've kind of got to is the point, you know, I need to learn from somebody. Yeah. So that's why we're here today. So we've been at Extreme Wheelie in York. And you know what? <laughs> what, what have you thought to the day, Mark? <laughs> well, you can probably see by the expression on our faces that it has been absolutely epic today. Um, I mean, I, 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 to be honest with you, I, I've come here pretty wet behind the ears. I've never, the most, the front wheel of my bike's ever come with probably three millimeters <laughs> and that was by accident and you know I've never really tried it um, I know we've played at it on the airfield but you know the truth is I, I am a complete rank amateur yes um, so came to this clean slate yeah um, but what a great day you know not not only have I learned pretty much how to pull a wheelie but you have an enormous amount of fun doing it the position that we ended with, I was pretty confident, quite probably cocky. And I thought, <laughs> I'm going to be able to pull a bloody wheelie by the end of the day, yeah. and I could. No offence, I was less sure that you were going to nail no, no, it. No, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, based on what we experienced in the morning. But I tell you what, by the end of the day, you were absolutely <laughs> nailing it, Mark. I, I, well, the, the, the interesting thing is, is actually, I think, a lot of it, um, as much as the technique and the practice and being instructed correctly which is absolutely what we've had today is incredibly important you've got to have the right mindset haven't you yeah and a lot of people probably I'm, I'm your archetypal example quite fearful quite cautious not that confident um, but the way that it happens today the way that they take you through the process from start to finish you know I, I was frankly pretty useless at the start of the day and mm. by the end of it I've got the front wheel up but I'm hammering down the air yeah screen. hammering it <laughs> so you know it, 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 invaluable I remember, do you know, at our um, October uh, launch, didn't we interview Rick English? Yes. One of the questions I asked him was, how do you pull a wheelie, Rick? And he kind of sort of skirted around it, didn't mm. he? Um, and now I understand why. Well, and and if I'd have, if I'd have um, you know, I'm pretty sure if I'd have just continued down that, that whole youtube how to pull a wheelie, all that kind of stuff, it had taken me three years to even get what I've done in, 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 in day. one day. Yeah. Could have worked it out. Yeah, I'm sure, you know, someone worked it out to begin with, didn't they? Yeah, but, sure. you know, the progression that you make, and you're under expert, um, these guys really know, sure. Ash and uh, Steve. Yeah, oh, without, experts. A doubt, without a doubt. And I, I think, I think it's, it, it's, it's, it's no great secret, is it, that there, are more than, there is more than one technique, there is more yes. than one method. Um, but what they teach here, in my opinion, is the safest, the most consistent, yes. um, and ultimately the most enjoyable way yes. to get it done. Yeah. Um, because you know, uh, you know, uh, Jeff standing behind the camera, you know, he's not, he's no wheelie expert, but let's be honest, he was, 
Well, he was I probably mean, Jeff was probably the best to be fair. It was he? competition winning today, wasn't it? Well, he was, yeah. Let's go for the yeah. wheelie world record next week. I think he did at least three cones. <laughs> at least yeah. three. At least three. I, I really thoroughly enjoyed it, and I didn't know whether I'd be able to do it. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm a I'm a guy that's been riding motorbikes probably forty odd years or or forty five years and. But your wheelie you know, experience. When you, when you learn, when, you, when you've been riding so long and you learn bad habits, yes. is it easy to change after that length of time? Um, so I was a bit concerned that I couldn't, yeah. but I did. So but you you've, know, hey, you've proved great. yourself to be very adaptable today, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, well, yeah. Do, have you, you, in fairness, you, in terms of wheelies, historically, uh, that, I've never no. seen you pull wheelies before, and I've uh, seen you ride a lot of bikes. I'm just not some. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> That's one way. Well, not anymore. Not well, anymore, Jeff. No, I mean, to be fair, I've never been really interested in pulling wheelies because it, I've always perceived it to be a bit of a show-off thing. Mm, you're, probably, um, you're probably and not I'm wrong. Not really, <laughs> I'm not really into that kind of thing. I'd just rather have fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm amazed at how much fun it really is. Yeah. And, yeah, there's no doubt when you pull a wheelie and you pull a, a nice wheelie, it's, it's cool. It, it does cool. look really cool. It, it looks cool. It feels cool. And do you feel like after after what you've experienced today, it'd be something you you might do occasionally in the future? <laughs> <laughs> That's the million dollar what question. Does, does that mean at every opportunity? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> no. Be. Well, I think I think what what Ash had, uh, uh, has already s suggested is is fundamental that you'll never get it unless you practice. And, yeah. and for sure, I've got to practice. Yeah. Right, so um, look, this is Ash. Um, so Ash is one of the owners of uh, Extreme uh, Wheelie and been heavily on tutoring us today. So yeah. do you know what? Firstly, I just want to thank you for such a, an amazing day we've had. It's all right. It's been good, hasn't it? It's, it's been, been fantastic. And a fair bit of progression, I think. It was definitely. So in the camera, obviously, it shows us wheelie. And can you confirm that definitely was us? Mm, how much? <laughs> yeah. um, it definitely was, yeah. It was, uh, it, there was a lot of progression today. So yeah. um, all three of you uh, certainly did really well. I think, obviously, depending on the footage, there might be a little highlight to prove all three of you. Oh man, we're kind of in sync at the end. Well, I can um, I can believe you said that. So Ash said at the end, look, all three of you go go side by side, and I'm thinking, <laughs> yeah. But you're clearly confident. Yeah, I, I was. I'd spoke to Steve about it. We'd seen enough through the day. Okay. Um, the way that things were progressing, um, it's something that probably you guys would never ever would imagine that you could do. No. So if there was a fighting chance of it, and we thought it was still going to remain safe. Um, certainly, it wasn't detrimental to any of your progression. In fact, I think it probably boosted your progression. Yeah. Uh, because then you all of a sudden realised just how much more control you had. Oh, yeah. Three yeah. of you in line, and it just smashed it. Not literally, but in a good way. In a good way. Yeah. Um, so your background, Ash, is obviously very, you know, stunt, you know stunting. So straight from school, road racing and motocross racing. Um, so, and I've just always been in extreme sports all my life. And then, yeah, probably 15, 20 years as a stunt performer on bikes. Mm. So, yeah, I've just always been around bikes and uh, heavily a performer, really, has been, has been the main thing, um, stunt performer. And over the last few years, certainly the tuition side has grown and grown mm. and grown. Obviously, I've known Steve a long time through shows and things like that. And then basically the, the Yamaha family, I guess you could call it, and Steve kind of invited me in and, and it's just, seems to, be, uh, seems to be rocketing off. So we must be doing something right. You know, everybody says about their tuition, this is gonna make you a better rider. For, for me, I feel like what we've experienced today is not only about just literally just pulling a wheelie. I think it's definitely, uh, I'll probably come away and think, yeah, I'm a better rider for that. I've got more control. I understand actually now what bloody back brake is for. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't even realise there is a back brake. Yes. <laughs> yeah. or, or what it does yeah. or how effective it can be. Mm. Um, I think for us as well, um, it's more about the rider feeling more safer and more yes. control of a bike. Yeah, they'd like to wheelie. It's a wheelie school. But actually, it's far more than a wheelie school. 
One of the questions I was wanting to ask, um, what, obviously we've done the day now and we've all got the bike in the air. Um, in fact, you called Jeff uh, evil, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mr. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Knievel. Mr. Right? Knievel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, we needed a longer runway, I think. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. He, he was on one, so too much Haribo. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I saw him sneaking a few in at lunchtime, I think. So. <laughs> but, but, for, but for us, um, what does progression look like now in terms of doing what we're doing today? How do, we, how do we go and take that to the next step? Well, I guess for you guys, certainly it would seem quite obvious if I was to explain the progression because you've already been on a day, but, yes. but you've seen the direction that you've gone in. Yes. So you've come from some either not being able to wheelie at all or being intimidated maybe with, you know, a lot of riders are intimidated by the sheer thought of it. Mm. Um, you guys now, by the end of your day, of your day have started to, to, to wheelie and be more controlled on the bikes. And the progression for that really is for us to slow you down even more. Yeah. As opposed to speed up, slow down. Mm. Develop more control, get more height, more distance, and more control while carrying the bike over mm. this distance. So there's a lot of progression. We've probably had guys that have come two or three times that will literally walk alongside us. Really? So walking pace, mm. and then just wheelie off into the sunset from hmm. walking pace. Mm. So that's guys that have been two or three times, and also guys that go away and practice. Yeah. Because the one thing that I just know for myself in this sport, or other sports, practice. And then when you finish practicing, go and practice. Mm. It's quite a good rate of progression. Mm. Two or three times back, or maybe quicker, for, everybody's different. Sure. But you sure. will be wheeling, you will be forced to, to be slower on your bike, yes. more controlled carry the bike longer yeah, um, yeah. and higher. Another quick question I had is, um, my bike's a GSX-R750, so the, the power delivery is quite different yep. to what I rode today, being the MT-09. How, how do you see that working out? Uh, buy an MT-09. <laughs> <laughs> so, funny enough, one of my first stunt bikes was a GSX-R750, and they're quite revvy. Yeah, yeah. They're quite a revvy thing. So you tend to work higher up the rev range. Okay. So, and also the riding position. But all the, all the principles I learned today, I'll be able is to... the same. Yeah. yeah, everything's the same. You would just adjust to suit that particular bike. Okay, well, you know what? It's been awesome. Thanks again. It has. It's really, been a really, really, really good day. It. Yeah. We've had a bit of a laugh as well, haven't we? I think we had a lot, a lot of laughs along the way, yeah. So it's been... A bit it's, of unicycle. We've had the unicycles, yeah, that's been, that's been good. So um, <laughs> you, I will say you're the first rider ever to come that can already ride the unicycle. So oh, that's been, that's say, been good. So yeah, you've put up a challenge there with the unicycles. Thanks again, Ash. So. Awesome, buddy. Cheers, thank bro. you. It's been good. Thank you. Cheers, thank you Thanks. very much. What's the next step? I think at some point we're going to have to actually try on our own motorcycles, <laughs> right? Well, <clears throat> I, I think I, How I, do don't, I don't. Going? I, well, I don't generally do anything particularly intelligent, but what I have done recently is buy a really cheap, nasty motorcycle <laughs> that I don't mind dropping down the road. So that's exactly what I'll be doing. So I think I think the, the, one of the other interesting points is it, it's brilliant this day. It is so you know, going from where I started this morning to where I'm now, complete worlds apart in terms mm. of my confidence. I'm willing to bite, but I do think practice is absolute king, isn't it? I think. Yeah. So look, we're going to put all of the uh, links for the wheelie school in the uh, description, so you can check out all that. You can go onto their website, um, book in with them. There's all the pricing information, the various locations. I know the guys are looking to expand as well. So. Um, in the future, there might be a school closer to you, depending on where you live. But I'd still travel. Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, you, you know, actually, for me, I think it was more about finding the right school. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I couldn't recommend it highly enough. And do you know what? It's been, it's been the most fun day. Uh, needless to say, we've also been wearing, of course, <laughs> all of the Knox kit. Um, so all of the kit that we've been wearing is in the description, too, so you can go and check that out as well. But you know what, Mark? We, we've had such a good, fun day, haven't we? Yeah. Good um, thum thumbs up? I'd say so. Thank okay. you. Great. So thanks so much for watching. Please like, please comment, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, click your notification bell as well. That'll just notify you when we have the next video um, available. Um, so thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Okay.
Okay. You sure you can hear?